Do you have a guitar that needs a new look? Or are you in the middle of a cheap guitar upgrade? This video tutorial will teach you how to spray paint your guitar cheaply and like a pro. Step 1. Getting your equipment. Be ready to spend some money here as you'll need varying degrees of sandpaper, primer, colour paint, clear coat and car polish. The easiest way to figure out what you want is to watch this tutorial one time and then make a list afterwards. Step 2. Dismantle the guitar. Unwind your tuning pegs and remove the strings. Unbolt the neck from the guitar body. Unsolder any wires that prevent you from removing the pickups and or the electronics. And make sure that you remove anything that you don't want spray painting. Step 3. Sand the body down. To get the best possible finish and sound out of your guitar, you'll want to sand it down until you reach bare wood. If you're a lazy bastard like me and the paint finish isn't so bad, you might want to just uh, rough up the surface and fill in any holes which is the next step. Step 4. Filling in the holes. You'll want to use some wood filler here, preferably the same colour as the colour of the wood that's on your guitar. Fill in any holes and scratches that blemish the surface. Once it's dry, smooth it down using sandpaper. Once sanding has been complete, mask off with masking tape any bits that you don't want painting. Step 5. Prime the guitar. You can't just paint directly to wood, as the paint doesn't actually stick. So what you'll need is primer. Spray the wood primer onto your guitar until you've covered what you need to paint. The primer also allows you to see if you've missed any holes with the wood filler so that you can go back and fill them up. If you don't need wood primer because you were lazy and you just painted over the surface, you'll need to go on to the next step. Step 6. Paint the guitar the correct colour. Once you've either primed your guitar or roughed up the surface of the existing paint, it's now time to spray your guitar the correct colour of paint. Now I've chosen this rapeseed yellow spray paint. I think it looks quite nice, you know, a lot of other people, mm, you know, think it doesn't look too good. But I'm spraying just a light coat and working it back and forth like so. Make sure you're not to cover the guitar with too much paint. I must emphasize at this point that you don't rush it and that you don't overspray it because I've ruined perfectly good guitars just from doing that alone. You'll want about two or three coats of paint for a standard size guitar body. Step 7. Spraying the clear coat. Now you'll want to seal in the paint's colour using clear coat. You're going to do exactly the same as what you did with the paint except that you're now going to coat it with several layers of clear coat. You'll need anywhere between 3 and 5 layers of paint here, as you'll be sanding it back later. I would leave the guitar to dry for at least 3 days or so. This is so that the paint hardens up enough so that it doesn't run when we sand it back. Step 8. Sanding it back gradually. Now you'll need some wet dry paper here, preferably starting at least 800 grits and working up to 2000 grits. Fill a bowl full of washing up liquid and water and dip the sandpaper in and you're going to level out the paint surface just like so you're going to keep it nice and wet and you're going to make sure that you kind of flatten the top layer of paint, the clear coat until you don't see any of these orange peels it seems like complete madness doing this it seems like you're ruining all the hard work but trust me, there is method to this madness once it's flat, go down to 1000 grit then 2000 grit paper and make sure that the paint surface is completely flat be very careful. If you're seeing colour, that means you're sanded way too far and you should stop immediately. Step 9. Apply car polish. Applying car polish is the final step. Some people use rubbing compound, others use just standard car polish. I find using both works quite well. Essentially, just follow the instructions on the bottle, rub it on, buff it off, and hopefully um, it looks like this. Step 10. Reassemble the guitar. Reassembly is the exact opposite of disassembly. I hope you remember which order you put the components because you'll be putting them back. If you're not sure what to do, check the internet as there's plenty of tutorials on how to assemble a guitar properly. The finished product. So guys, this is the finished product. Um, it looks a lot better than the silver and rusty crap that I started out with. And I love the colour. Believe it or not guys, this is actually the second time I've actually sprayed this guitar. I initially started out with a solid rapesy yellow colour but A, it didn't turn out the colour that I wanted to and B, it actually didn't dry in about 5 days so I spent 5 days waiting for it to dry and it didn't dry so in the end of the day I sanded it all off and I ended up spraying it with a base coat silver and the candy yellow finish so this is why it kind of shimmers and glows like that you know but I couldn't be happier with the finish I couldn't be any more happier I think it looks great The Yamaha don't make yellow guitars so this is I'm, I'm quite happy with it. If you guys want to follow along, follow the instructions are provided and you'll probably get something very similar to this, if not even better. 
Likewise, comment, rate, subscribe. If you want to ask any questions, ask them in the comment section below. And we'll see you next time.